She may remember the story a little differently than I do. He had asked about me to one of the nurses. One of them said, well, you gonna ask her out sometime? And I said, yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. And we had gone out to dinner and you didn't really know him, had never really like met with him socially. Yeah, there was a spark there pretty quickly. He was kind of nervous and I was nervous. We had a nice dinner and uh, genomes came up as they sometimes do. He um, proceeded to tell me about the 23andMe um, test he took and how he could not smell asparagus after he urinated. Yeah, it shows a comfort level maybe that, uh, <laughs> that you're comfortable with the person and willing to share information. I just thought this was so weird that he was telling me this on his our first date. <laughs> Valentine's Day was six months after our first date. So he was like presenting me with this little gift and this Valentine that he made. You know what they say, good things come in threes. This last gift is nerdy, head slap, oh geez. Keys to past, present, future are locked in your jeans. Your last gift's a kit from 23andMe. I thought this is the oddest thing I have ever gotten. It was certainly not a traditional Valentine's gift, so it wasn't your box of chocolates and a dozen roses. Well, it was a little like, oh, maybe he is genetically screening me. It was definitely not trying to sift through her genes and see if uh, she was a compatible match. I thought, I am totally dating a nerd. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. You take those three billion base pairs of our DNA and you look at all of humanity, and well over 99% of that DNA is exactly the same. It's the fine little details that are what makes us what we are. I get the results back and my result was, I can smell asparagus in my urine when I, when I, after I eat it. So, which I didn't know, I had no idea. Asparagus metabolite detection. So Colleen has a substantially higher <laughs> odds of smelling asparagus in one's urine that's one of the first things we found out about each other. Oh. So. <laughs> and it didn't scare you away too badly. So. Not, not too bad. So we had a very small private family wedding. Now it's about a year later and we're going to have a big party. And as part of that, we're gonna do a little uh, game where people get to guess our genetic traits. This is kind of a fun thing. We're doing a game. So there are eight genetic traits that either Colleen or I have. Who thinks Chris has more Neanderthal yeah. DNA than Colleen? Yeah. Yeah. And the majority wins again. Well, this is the key to your genome. This is the key to your, your past, where you can see where your ancestry is from and your present, like how you're made up mm -hmm. from your genes and sort of your future of what this could mean for you as far as genetic traits. It was just kind of like bringing that thing together and of saying like, here's something that, you know, we can share together. I think it's really important. I'm really glad we live in that time that we can do that.